Good work deserves recognition and encouragement. That's the spirit behind tonight's celebration. Congratulations to all our awardees. What I appreciate about Stanley is how insightful he is in class. He's super observant. He brings students up a level with his discussion, with the way that he talks uh, about the content. He's really taken to Shakespeare and he's really a fantastic part of my class. I, I really like how he doesn't let things get him down. He sees the challenges in life, but he knows that he's going to rise to every challenge and overcome it and be better and not let the negativity drag him down. He's just so much fun to have in class and I'm really, really pleased that he's part of my my program and part of, of my life here at Mountain High. My favorite experience here at Mountain High was actually uh, when I would go to my other high schools, how all these groups of social people, like populars with populars, other people with other people, certain cultures were separated. But once I came here to Mountain High, I actually realized how united we all were. We actually didn't care about where you came from because we all knew each other on a personal level. And actually what I like about the teacher who nominated me, Corvello, is uh, she's really funny and she's really charismatic. and. Uh, I can really get to know her on a one-on-one -on -one basis because she's really one of my favorite teachers. She's really good to the kids and she's an amazing person. And one of my future goals is to uh, ultimately go to college. First of all, I'll go to the DATC, get my CNA, do something there, and then possibly go to University of Utah or even Weber State. I got the privilege of having um, Ash in my lifetime activities class and he never gives up. He's very respectful. He tries hard and he's always one of the last ones there helping pick up the equipment, make sure that uh, things are taken care of before he takes off. And he is always just so respectful and saying thank you. Uh, thanks Ash for being so polite. You've got a lot of potential. My favorite experience here at Mountain High has to be that like everyone is very nice. All the teachers, all the students, it's just fantastic. I feel very accepted here. And the teacher that nominated me is Karen Shepard, and she is awesome. I enjoy her gym class, and I feel very happy in that class. I actually do all the activities, and it's just very nice. My future goals are I would like to go into the animation thing and go to college. It, It'd be awesome. I nominated Marcus because I have really enjoyed having him in my class this year. He's always right on time. He's usually the first one there right after lunch and he's ready to come in and get to work and he, he works hard and I know that whenever I have a question that people are struggling with, he can usually help answer those questions and it's great to have him in my class. All right, my favorite experience about my Mountain High so far is the teachers come up to you, they communicate like if they're asking how, you, how well you're doing or if you understand that subject or if you need any help with that. And I was nominated by Margie. I love how she goes into depth with every single equation. She helps you through all of the processes and my future goals is to become a neurosurgeon. Sarah is from California. Her parents are from Salvador and Nicaragua two beautiful countries in Central America. She's in ma mathematics in a Spanish class, therefore she's outstanding in mathematics. She has been able to transfer that knowledge in Spanish from home to an academic setting. That is not always easy. I like Sarah's personality. She's always enthusiastic, willing to help students that have problems with mathematics or Spanish, sometimes both. Sarah, congratulations, keep going forward. Sarah is de California. Sus papás son de Nicaragua y El Salvador, dos bellos países de América Central. Sarah es una estudiante de mi clase de matemáticas en español, por lo que ella es muy buena en matemáticas, pero no solo eso, Ella ha sabido transferir ese español de la casa a un ambiente académico. Eso no siempre es fácil. Me gusta la personalidad de Sara. Ella es entusiasta, 
siempre dispuesta a ayudar a alumnos que tienen problemas o con matemáticas o con español, algunas veces con los dos. Sara, felicidades. Sigue adelante. I'd have to say my favorite thing um, about Mountain High, or like my favorite experience, was definitely doing Shadows of Fear. I loved the fact that we worked hard to make money for the school, and like, especially because I'm in DECA, so we made money for ourselves. Um, my teacher that f nominated me was Fede, and I I love Fede. He's the funniest guy. Um, my like favorite thing that he does is after class every day he like personally like says goodbye to us and like he'll shake our hand and like personally say goodbye to you and I, I feel like that really gets you and the teacher on a, pers on a personal level. Um, my future goal is I'm going to be doing the DATC soon and I'm going to be going into culinary arts and my goal is to um, open my own vegan restaurant and show people that you don't have to like harm any other creatures to have a good meal. <laughs> I chose Holly as my student representative for this recognition tonight. She is an incredible girl. She is always willing to help. She comes early, stays late, and has been an incredible asset to FCCLA. I'm happy to have her in class. She contributes, and she is a, a good student, and keeps things on task. And I really appreciate her and wish her the very best in her future. My favorite experience at Mountain High is probably when Miss Richards and Jamie took us to um, Joanne's fabric store so that we could get our stuff to make our projects in sewing. Um, what I like about Miss Richards is that she's just so sweet and she understands fully about everything that goes on in my life and she's just an amazing woman and I, I'm so happy she's my teacher. My future goals. I want to go to Weber State and major in history and become a history teacher. I'd love to work here, honestly. Hi, I'm John and I'm Caden Kendall's advisor and I nominated him because he has the best work ethic of any of the other students that I've, that I've had so far this year. It's amazing how much he works at home and to support his family and that impresses me a lot. And so congratulations, Caden. My favorite experience is probably just the support that I get from the teachers here and just how they interact with you. And what I like about John is he asks you how you're doing each day, what are you going to do, what's your plans. So it kind of makes you feel like at home and he's just a really good friend. And my future goals is uh, to be a journeyman plumber and just to help support my family. Fun fact about Megan, the legend is that she ate this entire bowl of candy corn in one sitting at this school. She has a lot on her plate though besides just candy corn and um, she, despite some adversity and some trials, she always comes to my class twice a day with a great attitude and she's an exceptional student. My favorite experience of being a Mountain High student, I'd have to say, was the Christmas party we did last year. It was the first activity that I got to do when I started here. Everybody was so welcoming and it felt warm and it was just amazing. Um, my teacher Tyler nominated me for this award and I just have to say he's one of the funniest teachers I have. Super outgoing and just all around awesome. Um, my future goals for myself, I want to be an OBGYN. I went to the DATC to become a CNA and now I'm working as a CNA and trying to get further in the medical field. So, I nominated Abram for my U.S. History class. Abram is a student that every teacher would love to have. He is there every day. He's on time. He does the work. He brings a good energy to the class and he's always been very respectful, not only to teachers but students, and he has a genuine love for history. I nominated Abram, he's a great student. Uh, my favorite experience here at Mountain High thus far has been the acceptance and how the teachers have understood and the faculty has understood everything that's been going on in my life. But, uh, my te Ryan nominated me, I don't really know why, but he's a really fantastic teacher and I understand everything he's saying and he's always he always seems like he has your back and uh, as soon as I graduate from high school I'm planning on going on an LDS mission and then after that I'm hoping to go to college to study psychology. 
Congratulations, Carly. I am happy to nominate Carly Kendall for the recognition reception. I nominated Carly because she's a very responsible, thoughtful student. She takes her work seriously and she does a great job of applying what we're learning in class and making real world connections with it. She also is a very busy student with a lot of obligations and priorities in her personal life and she does a really great job at balancing everything that she has going on. So Carly, I appreciate you. Thank you for being responsible and an incredible student. Thanks. I really love Mountain High. It's a great school. Um, they work really hard to help you get you to where you need to be. Um, one of my favorite experiences was with, was with Shadows of Fear, our haunted house. I worked with Tommy a lot on there. She's the one who nominated me. Um, we did a lot. It was a charity event and I got really involved with it. Not as much as I wanted to, but we did a great thing out there. Um, what I like about Tommy, she's just great. She's super energetic, she cares about everybody, and she just wants you to succeed. Uh, she wants everybody to do great and to reach their fullest potential. Um, we at Mountain High work towards our future goals. I'm not exactly sure where I want to be in the future, but I know that I want to take great care of my family, and uh, higher education is something I'm looking into, and they're helping me to do everything I need to do to get there. Okay, I nominated Alina because she's so awesome. She smiles all the time, and she's made all of her gap plans. She has really great attendance. I love being around her. I love her in my class. She's awesome. Congratulations, Alina. My favorite thing about Mountain High is that it's given me a lot of opportunities, and I can really be myself here. Uh, what I like about Ron is that he genuinely cares about the success of all of his students and cares about how they're doing in life. And for my future, I don't know if I want to go to college or join the military, but so far that's my plan. <laughs> I'm so happy to nominate Tristan for this recognition night. Um, he is really terrific. One thing about Tristan is that he has endless energy. Um, he comes in ready to learn, he's excited, he's happy, he tells stories, and it never goes away. He just seems to endlessly have the energy to do all that he needs to do in class. Another thing I really, really appreciate about Tristan is that when there is a problem or when there is a behavior that needs to be corrected or solved, he is all about making a goal to solve it. Um, he's a goal setter and I think that goes a long, long ways here at Mountain High and in education and in his personality in general and I'm really proud of him for that. Congratulations, Tristan. My favorite thing about Mountain High is the fact that it's a lot easier than the other schools I've gone to. Uh, my main issue at my older schools was I would do the work, I just wouldn't turn it in. And it's a lot easier now because we really don't have homework. Uh, Paula is a really good teacher. She's, she's really nice and she, she listens. Uh, most teachers at my older schools didn't really listen. They just thought, oh, a troubled kid, is that's his fault, you know. After I graduate, I wanna, I wanna go to school to become either a veterinarian or a feline behaviorist. Ryan, I nominated you because you are a hard worker, you try things even when you don't like them, and you have been a, an awesome success in my classes. Even though in the very beginning, you thought, this is not for me. You stuck with it, you've done fantastic, um, I really enjoyed um, getting to know you, so congratulations. My favorite experience um, of this entire school year has been the Christmas party. I made a lot of friends and it was super fun. I really like Brent because he's been super kind to me, he's been super understanding of everything, and I'm really hoping that eventually I can get it to the DATC to become a junior plumber. I nominated Tylin for a few reasons. One of the first reasons I nominated her is because she's so pleasant. She's usually smiling and she's very happy and she's willing to help me and others in the class. I also chose Tylin because she is very, very smart. Um, I have her in food science and she has a gift for baking for sure, but she also is very smart as far as the academic piece of it goes with the science. Um, and she also has really great attendance. She hasn't even missed a day, which is awesome. And so she's just a she's just an awesome student to have, and that's why I nominated her. So my favorite he experience here at Mountain High would have to be meeting everyone and just having friends. Um, 
you kind of just have to know everyone here. There's really no way where you go down the hall and don't know at least half the people in the hall. Um, Jamie is a great teacher. Um, she makes you really like learning and um, she just, she, you know she cares about you and um, she interacts with you in like a really unique way and it's really great. And um, she's just wonderful. I don't really know how to explain it. Um, my future goals would have to be, I want to become a chef or a baker, very different. Um, and I want to run my own bakery and hopefully do that soon. <laughs> Hey, it is my pleasure to nominate Isaac for this honor. Uh, not only is he always in class on time, he's always there, he's never tardy, he's always responsive, he seems to be interested in what we're doing, but he really makes me feel like he enjoys being in class and it was a pleasure to nominate him for this honor. Thank you, Isaac. Mountain High is a very well-structured school and that's, that's why I like coming here. I find it that the teachers make it very easy. John Gardner is one of those teachers. He makes my day. He's super funny. I just love his teaching style. I think he's one of the funniest teachers I've ever had the chance of meeting. Um, he helps with my future goals by just talking to us about college. I want to be a carpenter when I grow up because that really interests me. And I nominated Kylie Forbush. She's a great student. The first thing I noticed was her cool glasses. So I had to nominate her. Um, actually, she is a great student. She's very nice. Um, she always gets her work done on time, has excellent attendance. Um, I'm just really proud of her for stepping up and I've even got her to talk a few words, which is all a big accomplishment, I think. She is really quiet. But what a great student. I'm real proud of you here and great job, Kylie. Okay, my favorite experience at Mountain High is just that the teachers and the people here are really nice. And what I like about the teacher that nominated me is Cody. He's really funny, makes science fun to learn about. And my future goals is going to college to become a special education teacher. I'd like to nominate Brandon Matamoris. He is in both US Gov and English. Uh, I'd like to say that he tries really hard in my class. He has a really pleasant attitude. He asks me lots of good questions. And he, he even watches TV programs and he'll come and ask me uh, U.S. Gov questions or make comments about what he's noticed. In English, he's trying really hard um, to be a better sentence writer and a good citizen. I really think this is a great kid. Uh, my favorite experience in Mountain High was going to Lemonade Town. Um, we built a good team and it was a very fun experience. Uh, my teacher that nominated me was Chris. Um, she's very admirable, very intelligent, and very open-minded. Um, I want to go to Weber State, study astronomy, and be a founder of space exploration. I nominated Dylan Erickson for this special honor tonight. He is such a great student. I've had so much fun with him. Uh, he has almost perfect attendance and makes progress in all his classes every week. And I think that's impressive that he also tries really hard in my classes and is a really good example to the other students. Uh, not too long ago he had to take a test that's required of this school and he was very nervous about it but he passed it with flying colors and even exceeded the goal and afterwards he says wow that was stressful and I think he's learned that he can do hard things and I just want to give him a high five Congratulations, Dylan. My favorite experience at Mountain High had to be Lemonade Town. I really liked how they just kind of handpicked a bunch of kids and just put them together and then kind of forced us to work, work with each other, you know, teamwork. Uh, I really liked that. I thought that was very interesting because at your old school, you know, you just you kind of found your friends and then when you get put into a group of people like that and you're forced to work with each other, you kind of make your friends that way and I really like that about uh, Quick Start and Mountain High, both 
Lori was the one who nominated me for the student reception. Uh, I'm very happy to be nominated. She's such a great teacher. She's very optimistic. You know, she looks for the best in students, and that was something that you could also never find at another school, which is another reason why I'm very happy and very fortunate to be at Mountain High. Future goals. Um, really, graduate high school, but Christy, who's behind the camera right now, <laughs> she, uh, she says that that shouldn't be a problem for me. Um, I'm a very smart student. Uh, hopefully go to the DATC, maybe take a mechanic course. I, I'm really interested in cars. I think that would be interesting future to go into, you know. I nominated Chadrick Kindle because he is not only great in academics and his attendance, but because he's a great person overall. He has the ability to take things that are outside of his control and accept them for what they are and not try to complain and whine about things that he really has no control over. He takes that into his life in a very real way um, and that he can do things that are difficult for most people without having to really even try with it. He can stay on task, he can uh, participate in a classroom and he can be, I've seen him be a great friend to those around him and Chad I just really appreciate having you in class and congratulations. My favorite experience at Mountain High begins every day when I wake up out of bed because I don't dread the fact that I have to go to school in the morning. Um, Mountain High is a really closed environment and it's nice because when it's closed like that every teacher has the ability to pay attention to you as an individual and when they can do that every week they analyze where you're going as far as progress and they they strive to care for you and they want to see you succeed and it's a really wonderful environment and um, the teacher that nominated me was Matt and I like Matt because he's he's the prime example of a caring teacher and a caring person he one of he, he often brings up in his lessons is um, empathy you know, and I can really tell that he strives to understand what his students are going through and he tries to conform his lessons to them so that he may help them specifically. He's he's one-on-one -on -one and he really wants to work with you to get you through whatever he needs to do so that you can graduate. Um, my future goals in life are I primarily I just want to be happy and prosperous. Uh, you know, the first step is graduating high school and that's going to start here at Mountain High. But I'm, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what I want to go into yet, you know, whether it be college or pursuing a trade. I, I do know that I want to be prosperous and happy and I'll do whatever it takes to get there. Hi Kirkland, great job being recognized as the uh, student recognition for my advisory. I appreciate you and all the work that you've done and I know that you've worked very hard and received a lot of support from, from home, especially from your mom. So I'm proud of you and great to have you as my advisee. So one of my favorite experiences at Mountain was probably the first week when I came to Mountain um, when we did volleyball with the vice principal Greg. I guess it was a really good way to welcome us to the school. Um, something I like about the teacher that nominated me, Marv, um, he's always uh, you know checking up on me to make sure I'm doing good in all my classes. You know, he's pretty laid back in the class I have with him. I have him for a lifting class. And uh, some of my future goals, I want to go to Weber State and hopefully get into one of their nursing programs. I nominated Nate because ever since the last year when he got into my class, I've just been impressed with him. He, even from his very first writing assignment, I was impressed with the way he was writing, the way he could articulate his thoughts, and he's just a really impressive kid. He is kind, and he is thoughtful, and he just has a light that he shines, and he lights up the room when he comes in, and it's really great. I mean, heck, this kid designs his own clothes. He, he can sew. That's pretty cool. So, um, the other thing that I wanted to say is that he is just a great leader. He's really stepped up and taken that role of a leadership and he really knows what he wants to do. He's trying to do different things with his life and he's excited to do that and I'm excited to see all the great things he's going to do and how he shares his life with the world. Alright, so in general my favorite thing about Mountain High is that all the teachers are involved and they actually care about the students. I like the smaller classrooms. I think it's easier with like one-on-one -on -one and the teachers are more involved with everyone. So I really like Natalie because she's always pushing me to do better and she's always 
getting on me after whatever I do, always trying to make sure my assignments are in and make sure I'm doing good and just always making sure I'm doing what I need to do. So some of my future goals, I don't know what quite I want to do yet. I mean, I'm really creative and I'm really good at art. So maybe I can use that to make some money. Who did you nominate for the student banquet? Why did you choose Aaron? Because he shoots ducks? Because he can shoot a bow? Oh, because he is talented! Um, I love Mountain High because you get to meet with your teachers and get to know them on a more personal level and just everyone knows each other better because there's so fewer people. Um, I like Travis a lot because he's just really funny, he's a good teacher and he just like connects well with people. Um, my future goals, I plan on joining the military and doing special forces um, and then after that going to school to become a doctor. And yeah. Congratulations to all our award nominees. We are proud of all your accomplishments.